Sogol in. I'm working on my cardigan again. Today I'm going to check my machine settings so that I can have nice smooth seams on the sweater knit. Here's a scrap of the fabric that I'm using for the cardigan. It's a nice stretchy sweater knit. It's the same scrap that I used before for the embroidery and I'm going to cut it into strips so I can practice my seams. Now you can see I just have a regular presser foot set up on this machine, but this machine also has a setting for the pressure of the presser foot at the top of the machine, and I have it set up to one, which is the least amount of pressure that this machine can have for the presser foot. I'm going to try this with a very narrow zigzag set to 0.5 millimeters, and the length is sent, set to 2.5. And I'm just using three-eighths of an inch seam allowance because this doesn't fray very much. Okay, so let's see how it went. Well, actually not bad for the first time. I probably won't even have to use the walking foot on this. You'll notice I have my walking foot set up here. I actually don't think it's going to make that much of a difference on this fabric because I did pre-wash it and at least uh, lengthwise to lengthwise it doesn't seem to stretch too much. With this fabric it's not making too much of a difference. This is the walking foot side, this is the regular foot side. I did sew straighter with the, with the walking foot. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the foot or not. If I had selvages here, the selvages would be on this side and so I'm sewing uh, lengthwise to lengthwise as I would with a side seam, for instance. Now let's check my settings for lengthwise to crosswise here. And you do this if you were, um, well, at the top of the sleeve or if you were sewing a band to the sweater. I just want to make sure the settings are right for this. Pieces pinned together and I've trimmed the bottom so they'd be even and I can see whether or not the seam stretches. It's a nice, smooth, stretchy seam, and um, I'm quite happy with it. It usually doesn't happen this quickly. So here it is, a smooth, stretchy seam that I've steamed already. I didn't have to do too much fiddling around with this. I got lucky, but I did use a walking foot on this, and I... Um, lessened the pressure of my presser foot, and of course I used pre-washed fabric.